WFAN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant and sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we begin our day with a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. You got the Dow up 90 points. S&P's down 2. NASDAQ is up 90 points. Russell's off 8. Semis are up 81 points. Trendy's down 388 points. That's a 2.5% move to the downside. Gold's up 4 bucks, with silver being back 2 pennies. Light three crude is off 61 cents. Natural gas is off 8 pennies. 30 year treasury is down nearly 1 point printed out at 113.27. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin ES mini upper left hand side. ES mini running right up into the resistance area, the top of its profile, 51.39. The high today, 51.29 out there. So we're up at resistance. Being up at resistance, not necessarily a great thing with the spot volatility still being above its 50 day exponential moving average. The 50 day is printed out at 1518. The spot is at 1593. If you take a look at the NQ, it's run into basically the beginning of its sell zone. So far, the rally has gotten us up to 17,795. At 17,810, that is the beginning of its sell zone as a bearish structured profile. So we've got the ES mini at resistance. We've got the NQ at a potential resistance point, and we still have that spot volatility up above its 50-day exponential moving average. We take a look at uh, what's going on inside the U.S. dollar index. It did close below the center of its bear structured profile yesterday. It's trying to get back inside that level. It does look like the dollar wants to make a move down to the bottom of its profile, 104.71. Uh, gold continues to consolidate with inside its daily profile. That's between the range of 23.18 to 2400. Uh, silver has closed below for two consecutive sessions below the bottom of its daily profile, bullish structured profile that is, suggests at least a daily change in trend. However, where prices found support is the top of the weekly profile. So not unless we get a close below 2656, will silver kind of turn, will tarnish its colors, so to speak. If we take a look at Light Street Crudes, had a nice rally with inside its profile, ran right up into resistance up at the top of that profile, and that's up at 83.84, the high today, 83.71. Natural gas, you know, you would think maybe yesterday was signaling to you and I that maybe it was getting ready to break out, but lo and behold, it's just trading in a sideways consolidation. It just seems like dead money at the moment. If we take a look at the 30-year Treasury, it is testing profile support. That's at 113.26. It's also got to buy the D-point bottom at the 113.10 level. You get a close below 113.10. 30-year treasury will head lower. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, if you will. But if you have to start your Wednesday, would you please have a wonderful one? And thanks so much for joining us. We look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.